Hello and welcome to the 6mm Podcast. I am your host, Tactical Snoopy. Today we have our other host here, Revention. Hey. Hey. <laughs> and we have our special guest here, uh, the Tactical Unicorn. Hola, amigos. Hola. <laughs> and we also have Femme Fatale Airsoft. Hello, everyone. See that today. Was that. <laughs> today. <laughs> that was like the most boring hello ever. <laughs> no. Good day. God, no, just, right. Good day, old I, chap. I, I gotta sit on my uh, my stool now. How's uh, everyone doing today? <laughs> good. We're good. Not not bad. Well, we should no. drink a little bit more. I, I didn't even pick up any alcohol. Like I didn't pick up any fucking liquor before I got home. You're They're an amateur. Scrub Listen to you. My house always has alcohol. <laughs> no, I've I've noticed through those uh those live streams you do on YouTube with Jet that you guys have some like craft beer shit going on there. Sometimes, yeah. I mean, there's a liquor store like literally like two blocks away from my house, so it's kind of easy. Well, I'm very jealous. Here here in the Florida <laughs> yeah. Keys, our stuff is a uh, pretty generic. Okay. Uh, I know, I know. Bud Lights for island. everybody. Nobody wants to send stuff there. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is like key west is like the ultimate place for like partying and stuff like it's really fun if you go down there yeah but it's I still heard. fucking generic the the best thing we have is like world of beer and they fucking up the price like 10 fucking dollars get get the fuck out of here <laughs> it's worse you gotta come down to miami we have like microbreweries at the wazoo wazoo <laughs> all right i'm keeping my language pg by the way no 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 <laughs> Don't you dare, okay? You're, All right, let, I, I feel like we should get to like some kind of like airsoft. So- what? Language. Yes. Oh, okay. So let's talk about some airsoft stuff. Let's talk about. Let's talk about. No, man. you know what? Fuck you, Tony. Let's let's find out who the people on our call. Who who are these people? Okay, where did they come from? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Look, let, let's start with, uh, let's, you know what, let's do this. Let's start with uh, Kelly from uh, Femme Fatale Airsoft. Uh, Kelly, um, I, 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 what is it, I look at your, uh, your blogs, and you interview people, you review certain things, and maybe, uh, what is it, once in a while you do like fields as well. Um, I just want to know where you started, how you started, and uh, where are you now in, uh, in Airsoft? Ooh, this is gonna be a story time. Story time. Story time. (laughs) Get the fuck out of here. (laughs) Sorry, that's my impression of. Of what, Tony? (laughs) Oh, of me? Fuck off. (laughs) Oh my god. Kelly, you have the floor. Okay, so I my first airsoft game was in 2011, um, a site in Nottingham in the UK. So yeah, I am um, from the UK, Derby in the Midlands, but it's part of that zone that's the North Midlands Confusion Zone. It's not mm-hmm. really that Midlandy, but it's not quite North. I don't know what any of that means. <laughs> 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 Anyone's gonna know what it means? What? Um, what? So yeah, I was, like, first game was in 2011. I went for my best friend's birthday. Her boyfriend played a load of airsoft, and she was like, "Oh, it's like Call of Duty, but in real life." Mm-hmm. So do you want to go? And I was like, "Yeah, yeah it sounds really good." And then we went, and the day was absolutely horrific. So it was rain- raining, it was really cold, it was muddy. We had to get up at like 6 o'clock in the morning, which was unheard of in that <laughs> sort of time of my life. And then when we got there, it was um, it was a really small woodland site. It barely had any cover. Um, some of the people were assholes. It was a generally very unpleasant day. I got shot in the face because my gun battery went down. I didn't know how to change it, but I decided to change it in game because I didn't know you were allowed to come off the field to do it (laughs) the whole no no one's told me i had to wear face pro oh my god it was no one tells you anything it was a uh, it was an experience but after that i thought do you know what i'm not doing this again i've tried it and that's the main thing that's the important thing i participated and then in 2014 we decided to go airsoft in for my boyfriend at the time's um, birthday he wanted to do a private skirmish and i was like i'm not going unless you get me the G&G FF26. And I Ooh, thought I'd done really specific. well there because I was like, he's not going to get it for me, so I don't need to go. And then it turned up at my house like two weeks later, so I was like, okay, I've got no excuse now. So we went, <laughs> it was a completely different date. It was really enjoyable. Um, there were no sort of like rude comments. Um, everyone had a good time. There was no questionable hit taking. And I was like, well, if this is what it's like all the time, I should probably give it a go. 
and then so we played their woodland site it was still, still a wooden site but it was in the summer so it was a lot drier and it was it had a lot more cover and it had this big um like wooden building in the middle of it that had like loads of ramps so that was cool to fight over but we started going to that um every every month and then they opened their cqb site up and then i got a taste for cqb and it was like oh my god we can do this indoors why aren't we doing this every week so then we started going <laughs> twice a week and it snowballed and in november 2014 i lost my graduate fashion job so i was a fashion buyer and merchandiser and i was made redundant and in the same week i had a car accident that wrote my car off and um gave me some physical and mental health issues so fun and exciting it was great it was it was a great, great time in my life that it's a good but year that, i was like i don't really have anything to do and i decided i'd spend my time um watching youtube videos and reading airsoft blogs so when i could start playing again i had more of an idea of what gear i wanted and that's when i found leah and the other airsoft mm-hmm. ladies so i started like following your shit like religiously oh so yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um then I, st- I then I was reading all those airsoft blogs and I was like, "There's nothing really geared towards women, so why isn't it? Why isn't there one?" And I was like, "Oh, light bulb! Let's <laughs> give it a go!" And it sort nice. of snowboarded from there. And it's like almost three years later, and now um, I quit my job in January to do this full time. Wow! And so now I'm a full time airsoft blogger. Which, when you say it to people who don't understand what you do, is they're just like, <laughs> "Oh." I don't it's, know what any of that means. That's ridiculous. Yeah, that's right. You don't have a real job. What time do you get up? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Whenever I want. <laughs> Damn right. That's awesome. That's incredible, though. It really is. Just doing... I would I would assume only doing what you love. <laughs> like, full time is incredible. Wow. And how did you start, and how did you start getting into Airsoft, Leah? So I didn't get into airsoft until I actually worked in the airsoft industry. Funny story. Hmm. I got a job working for a distributor. They are no longer around, but at the time they had been in the business about eight years or so. They were called Spartan Imports. They were under the Cybergun umbrella. Mm -hmm. And uh, I got a job working for them doing sales and... As part of it, I was like, hey, I should probably know what the fuck I'm selling, so I should go play a game or two. And so I went to an airsoft game, and I was like, this is awesome! And then I started playing more, (laughs) and I started playing more, and then I started playing, like, I started spending all of my disposable income on airsoft. And uh, I started making videos because my employer was not making anything to connect like for social media at all whatsoever so i was like well if you guys aren't going to do it i i want an easier way to sell this product so i'm going to start doing social media stuff and then a lot of people started following me uh and it's i got to the point to where i was dating jet and uh I was dating him actually secretly for a little while (laughs) and for about we were dating for secretly for about six months until at that time I'd been playing airsoft for about a year and a half when I met him Um, and then I we secretly dated for another six months and he was like move to SoCal (laughs) with me and I was like no man no way (laughs) and that worked out well because now I live here But uh, anyway, I ended up moving down here and quitting my job to do airsoft full time also uh, because I was kind of at a point where I was a little bit miserable in my job and uh, moving down here to be able to do airsoft full time and living with Jet, I didn't have to pay any rent. So that was a pretty sweet deal. (laughs) Shout out Jet Desert Fox. Never heard of him. (laughs) I've never heard of him. I I don't know who he is. Uh, Who is this person? (laughs) Who's this jet guy? Um, so then I was <laughs> able to go essentially full-time airsoft, and I was really able to, to focus on my YouTube channel, my Instagram, my other social media channels, and and do a lot more. So that's that's my story. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Hold on. First off, screw you both for you know <laughs> making a living off of airsoft, okay? That's one of, the things, one of the things I've always wanted to do was just, you know, get paid to do something I love to do, period, regardless of it being airsoft, you know. I'm in radio right now, and I fucking hate it. <laughs> Just deep regrets all around. 
but I really like your Instagram stories, though. They're great. Oh God! Oh, you you flatter me, Leon. You flatter me. <laughs> But uh, it, it really is admirable what uh, what you guys do. You guys have been doing a fantastic job. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks. Well, you know, I, I really only married Jet, so that way I could be Airsoft famous. So <laughs> no, obvi- oh, wow. Obviously, of course. We, we, we got that hint a while ago, Leah. Gosh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now I just admit it for the rest of my life. Ugh, I should have thought this through. No, unbelievable. unbelievable. So I guess I have to figure out. Shame on you, someone you're guilty. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's gonna Snoopy, think. I'm are you serious. taking notes? No, someone you're will obviously notes, think right? you're serious. Oh, yeah. Gosh. I hope so. Just, just pointing it out there. Le- Leah's not serious. She <laughs> did not, did not marry Jet for uh, the airsoft monies. No, don't tell them. <laughs> Dude, you gotta look. <laughs> I like it to be a giant troll. <laughs> you should make a video. Did I marry Jet Desert Fox for airsoft? Yeah. I that should. would be funny as hell. I should. God. I don't I've seen that conspiracy theory and then like kids will tag it's really funny because kids will tag their friends and they'll be like, See, I told you I'll see like our old photos mm-hmm. and kids will tag each other on them and they'll be like, See, I told you so and then they'll be arguing about whether or not the photo is real or a setup. And I'm just like <laughs> Guys Do you, do you remember um Try Hard Air Softer? Yeah. Yeah, that page? Yes. Yeah. Wow, that that guy really <laughs> had it out for you. Yeah, I, I, it's probably someone that I met, and I I don't know, like I didn't show enough attention to or something, and then they hated me. Well, maybe you, I, them. you know what? I always I always oh, used to think jealous. it was Josh Warren. I always used to think it was Josh Warren. <laughs> but, oh, but that maybe that was a stretch, a little bit of a stretch. Yeah, uh, I've heard I'd heard like several people who it was, and I kind of think I know, but I'm just like whatever. It's fucking dead anyway. I don't. No, really, it really is. It's not really worth. Like I don't give a shit. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> we had a similar That's one kind- in the UK called Not Milsim. Not Milsim. <laughs> not Milsim. And oh. what a creative name! Five out of the seven photos were me in my pink gear with my Hello Kitty hanging off my gear. Maybe. I remember that. <laughs> I remember that. Oh, people get so triggered. It's awesome. Oh, I'm the most fucking triggered person. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's what I do. Yeah. I, f- I feed off this stuff. But you also realize that it's not like, it's, it doesn't like fucking consume your life. Oh, no, of course not. Like, like in the way, I mean, in the way of people that, that made, like, when, when all those troll pages are out, that are hardcore, it's like, man, you gotta fucking spend a lot of time following all of these people that you hate. That's... I don't know how they have the time. It would be a... Oh, I don't know. I, don't, I can't keep up with things as they are now. I, don't, I can't imagine time? following. What is that? Huh? There was what one is person... I, there was one person I sort of disliked out of the uh, the community, and and you guys could probably take a guess. Uh, it was uh, that uh, our dearest friend, Miss Airsoft. <laughs> oh... I don't yeah. know. Here we go now. Everybody get her. the popcorn. <laughs> no, I, I'll, I'll be. Uh, we'll be brief about it. I promise. But uh, she, she, she bothered me in the wrong way. I, I actually know. felt sorry for, her, kind of. Well. <laughs> but at the same time, like, I, I don't know. It's like feeling sorry for the, for the fluffers on a porn on a on a porn. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> oh my God. It's like that. Holy shit. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> I mean, because you do, but at the same time, you're like, you kind of knew what you were getting yourself into, but that sucks. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? You're going to be half naked with an airsoft gun and people aren't going to assume you're, you know, a fucking stripper? What? That's crazy. <laughs> it's not for attention? They like me because of my guns that I represent, you know. Fuck off. <laughs> Did you hear what happened with that? Um, no, what happened? How the end of the page. So, oh so yeah, I do. Miss Airsoft was created by a dude in the UK who played at the site, and apparently he created that whole brand because he wanted to draw publicity to the site, which obviously worked really well because some people really enjoyed it and some people really didn't like it. And then mm-hmm. eventually he started messaging um, dudes on Instagram asking for nudes. And yes. When what? She, you know, honestly, <laughs> Wait, and when she what? found out. Um, she questioned him about it, and he 
logged her out of the account, changed all the passwords, deleted all the photos, and changed the name of it. Oh god, I have, I have this, I have this the screenshots too. On this because they'll give you the gossip. <laughs> that's why I. No, but that's a, I, we're that, going straight from the source here, dude. We're we're in like the the fall of the gossip. Like, mm hmm. No, we're, we're, Tony and I are deep into it. That's why, unfortunately, at a certain point in time, no, I, not, I had these he's screenshots. He's deep into it, and he's dragging me down. Yeah. <laughs> like, I bet, yeah, I, I feel like you probably know way more about everything than me, Snoopy. <laughs> I, I, I don't know about that. I mean, maybe, sort of, kind of, but I, I, I like digging. I, I really star. do like digging, okay, for, for information. And okay. if I have to put, I, I guess... On. You could consider it uh, rounds to my defense if anybody tries to mess with me kind of thing. I don't fucking know. I have no yeah, idea. I think you know way more than me because, like, I, I always have to get informed. I never understand what people are super spun up about, and I have to, like, and everyone always assumes I know. And so then they start talking to me about something, and I'm like, wait a minute. I don't, I don't know what, what we're talking about me? here. <laughs> You're going to have to back up. <laughs> I sometimes oh, think I should... This guy's, like, the team color. star of... Of airsoft, <laughs> you think huh? I'm the Keem? He he thinks I'm the Keem star of airsoft. Have you ever heard of a drama alert on oh. a, on YouTube? Yeah, he considers me the same. Um, yeah, I love you. Don't worry, Snoopy. I love you. Don't worry. Fuck off, Tony. <laughs> you, you're sort of right. I just I do enjoy drama, and I like being controversial. And I like I just like knowing. Okay, I I don't know what it is. I I think the airsoft community is very interesting, and it, yeah. it pulls me in more every time something like that happens. Like, the whole Lancer tactical thing, I, I engaged that completely, and whether it was to say something negative or to just be a fucking asshole about it, I enjoyed every bit of it, regardless of their uh, their downfall. It was fun for I me. I mean, uh, whatever. I don't know what happened with that. I, I didn't get super involved in that. I thought it was funny when people were, like, trying to, like, crap all over Lancer tactical, just because, honestly... That's not something that not every single other company has done. They I just know, I know. Sued or caught. Every, everybody's done it, but uh, uh, what was it? I, I believe it was uh, Mark from Red Wolf saying uh, everybody's done it, but they've learned from it. I guess what, that's what he said. Uh, yeah, they've learned from it enough to where they can still be shady as fuck, but legally. Yeah, but that <laughs> like, he he. I don't so know. We, we, I thought... we took a goggles. We took one of your revision goggles. And then we just like put a, instead of an R, we put an L on it. <laughs> Lancer Tactical, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, oh. that's also what Valken does. Oh, I, don't get me started about Valken, oh. Leah. I, I can't. I, I, I have a, I have a formidable fucking. Let's everybody. It'll be great. That's what I do. <laughs> that's what I'm I do. I'm just kidding. <laughs> But no, at the at the end, of, we're gonna we're gonna finish off that fucking conversation. Period. Uh, Valken's a piece of shit. Go fuck themselves. Um, v for I don't know. Fuck you. Um, let's let's progress to something different before I have a, an aneurysm. You know, from rage. All right. Yeah. Tony, Tony, you got anything interesting for us? Okay. All right. Well, Tony, if you don't have anything going on, um, I was gonna ask about women of airsoft actually. Oh, mm. saucy. I know, I know, so I no but uh, I, I wanted to see that. what the the movement behind bah, bleh, behind Women of Airsoft was. Recently, it's been more active than usual. I just, uh, I'm assuming, Leah, you uh, you started it. <laughs> that is the correct assumption. Yes. Yes, and yes. Uh, you two, I would say it's safe to say you guys would be the the, the faces of that uh, that group. But uh, could you tell me more about Women of Airsoft? Yeah. Um. For sure, because I know people are super curious. People ask me about, like, they try to get added and stuff all the time. And it's really not that exciting. I mean, for the most part, we're talking about, like, our periods and shit. So nice. that's not something that people want to see on a public forum, really. Um, I mean, if they want to, I'm quite happy to. Yeah, oh. whatever. <laughs> but um, no, I'm, I'm not a fan. As for, as for like... The, the, the real main purpose behind it and, and why it's kind of uh, catapulted, I would say, in a sense, in the, in the past couple months, is I originally created the group because I wanted a place for women to be able to share ideas with each other that or, 
or, or information with each other that's maybe not necessarily available to women since nothing in airsoft or most of the tactical industry caters to women at all whatsoever. And so I just wanted a place for us to be able to, a, a, an easier way for us to be able to talk to each other and, and for stuff not to get lost in the mess of information that is the internet. So that way all girls could come together and we can talk about what gear works for us, what, what guns work for us, what strategies work for us as far as handling the way that we're treated on the field. Um, things like that where we maybe we don't feel comfortable talking in, in front of a bunch of dudes. Uh, and, and that's for anything from as sensitive to, to things like sexual harassment to things as simple as like we don't want to talk about pooping in front of dudes. <laughs> you know, like simple stuff like that. Of course. And... Um, where it started to catapult was I have been getting very consistently frustrated with retailers and manufacturers' refusal to work with women and to make anything that, that, that just works better for us because obviously everything that they're doing mm. is catered to men, including their marketing. Preach. And it's gets it's really frustrating because there's there's a lot of women that are in airsoft and there's a lot of women that are interested in airsoft but they don't play because they feel like they'll be a super minority and they'll feel like they'll be harassed and they see a bunch of marketing that's directed at men's that's that's like to be quite frank that's it's not it does it's not enticing to women basically sure um, and so I was really frustrated with companies that refused to to market to women and they all say no women play airsoft and i'm like fuck that i know they do so i got in the group and i was like i'm really tired of of companies just writing us off all the time and and we don't get most of us there's a lot of us that don't get we don't get offered sponsorships and we don't get offered um certain opportunities for leadership simply because we're women or we feel like that's the case because a lot of us have proven ourselves on the field and we've proven ourselves on social media or other other places as being as having a place in this industry and and a lot of companies still just refuse to acknowledge it in a sense other than to be like oh it's, it's girls they're playing let's make barbie pink things for How them cute. and that's 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 all we need to do right so i oh, issued we, a challenge to everyone basically saying i want everyone to be advocates for airsoft with other women in their cities i want you to be very active on social media and i want all of the industry to see that that we're here essentially because they and up until this year they thought that no women still played airsoft and i was like i see women everywhere every time i go out playing so that's that's kind of the kick behind it is we just want to show the industry that we're a force and that maybe at some point they will invest in in products in gear and in marketing that's aimed not even just towards women but just that's not that's not super sexual in nature really <laughs> I, mean, I kind of wanted you to sell sex, go into you that sell different kind of sex not like tna yeah. but badass women who look like a break your face yeah, that's like self, self fucking Laura Croft or something. Yeah. Not not someone that's completely naked. Laura not Croft at least wears clothes. No, she's cool see though. That. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. But um, I, you know, I, I've made jokes. Obviously, you guys know that. <laughs> but um. No. no. <laughs> shut up. Get out of here. This, guy, but, this uh, guy's a serious person. No, I'm, I'm a super serious person, and. Uh, <laughs> You know, I, di- I didn't make up a group, you know, to, to parody the Women of Airsoft group at all. No, not at all. Don't worry about that. But, um, oh, did you make it? Yeah. Yeah, I did. I yeah, he is the it. one. Yeah, I'm the, I'm the I first I didn't get involved in that whole thing because the, the crew had it handled, apparently. No, yeah. they did. They yeah, did very, very well. I was well. like, man, these ladies are bloodthirsty. <laughs> No, they they yeah. ripped us apart limb from limb, and I was like, "Wow, these women are fucking badass. They are savages." Holy I was shit. Oh man, I was I was like almost taken aback because I was I was away when that whole thing went down, and I was reading it, and I was like talking to Jet, and I was like, "Oh my goodness, I don't know what I've done, Jet. <laughs> <laughs> I've created I've created like monsters. I've created monsters, but they're awesome. <laughs> so no, it, that was that was probably one of the most impressive things I, I've I've seen. Yeah. 
noticeably to come out of the group was how everybody, how the, you guys all band together to just try to like basically fuck us in the ass. <laughs> I think a lot of women have gotten confidence. Which yeah. Is, which is what what you need to play airsoft, I think. No, you guys, you guys, the group especially has been, done a fantastic job. I've seen every day, you know, just more and more women just come out of nowhere and say, "Hey, we're here." And we're we're playing airsoft too, guys, which has been fantastic. We're not backing I, down. It's been wonderful. Not backing down. <laughs> oh god. I'm gonna get so much shit for how British I am this whole trip. Oh my god, Kelly, you're British. <laughs> I know. I can <laughs> tell. It's great. It's great. I had no a dude, idea. when we were at breakfast this morning, a guy was like, "Excuse me, is she British?" And we were like, "Yeah, she just got here." And then as he was leaving, he was like, "I love you, girl." Like what? The and I was just there, like, what? Do, thank you. Yeah. It was really, it was really awkward. And I was just there, like trying to eat my bloody eggs. That's all I wanted to do. Just it's eat like, my it's eggs. like no, no. Are oh are you God. British? No, no. She's a newborn fucking child. Okay, look at her. Of course she's fucking British. God damn it. Yeah. Look at all this tea I'm drinking. Yeah. <laughs> I did like guzzle tea. In would you like a fucking oh crumpet, God? God damn it. Would you like it with your crumpets? <laughs> oh God, no. I fucking love a crumpet. <laughs> Speaking of crumpets, think. Wait, wait, wait. Let me get a word. Speaking of crumpets, tell me about this. How do you feel? I know you haven't played. I don't think you've played a uh, game of airsoft in the U.S. But can you tell us, tell the audience a little bit, like how it is, like in the U.K. or how different, or like how do you, how how do you how is it like playing in the U.K. Like how's like the player base and the experience and what game types they play and stuff. And what's your expectation for here? Because yeah, you're going to be playing tomorrow. Oh, no. So wait, she. Oh yeah. In the UK, uh, most of our sites are um, limited to a 300 FPS um, limit. That's basically because of the um, Policing and Crime um, Bill Act, something like that. Uh, so basically, <laughs> it limits what is um, a firearm. So anything over a certain jewel is a class of Section 5 firearm. And obviously, firearms aren't readily available in the UK, so that's put a dampener on gas blowback use and HPA. So a lot of players now, because it's only just come into force like in the last month or so, people have been selling their HPA kit because they don't want to get arrested, even if they won't get arrested. But the one thing I've noticed is, so down south, a lot of the sites are 328 FPS, and they have a tolerance of plus, plus or minus 15%, which is fine. Up north, we had sites that were 374 FPS, mm -hmm. um, but now we've had to change that back to 350. For DMRs, it's 450. And for bot action snipers, it's 500. There's Milsim is a big community in the UK, and I think a lot of the things I see from the US side is a lot of speedsoft, but it's nowhere <laughs> near as popular in the UK. But I think that's because we all see them, you know, them shorts, the short like the the half like the three uh -huh. quarter length leggings and then like tights. Uh -huh. I don't know if they are tights. I've got no idea. But then there's like, the like knee pads. Ankles. Oh, the knee pads is all they are. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. We see that, and it's kind of like oh, but. Mm -hmm. The games in the UK, we've got, um, we've got, it's, it's actually quite big, but it's nowhere near as big as it is here. We have a lot of sites, and I prefer CQB because I don't like playing in the mud. So Same. That's that. Mm. I mean, I'm a pussy, it's fine, I've dealt with it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jesus. For here, because obviously you guys play at a much higher FPS, I am thinking, oh my god, I'm going to get my, I'm just going to get shot to shit. <laughs> I'm thinking it'll be fine. <coughs> I think it, I'm really excited. Yeah. I'm terrified about Milson West. Like absolutely terrified. Because what if I'm what if I'm not badass enough to cope? <laughs> You'll be fine. You'll be fine. I'll I'll yell at you if, if that if really that really if helps because then I start getting angry and I'm just like fuck up, let me operate. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> okay. Now I know tough love works with tough Kelly. Love. Got it. And if I so. cry, it's okay. I'll get over it. Okay. <laughs> Awesome. Good to know. If she cries, please record it. <laughs> Put it on Facebook. This yeah. is how tough Ben Patel is. And they're like, stop recording me. <laughs> this is who <laughs> she <laughs> is. Where's my tea? She's not operating right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking terrible. My God. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Kelly Leah. is one whole wine glass in right now. I, I'm literally like, we should have bought the box of wine in here. Oh my God, we've got a box of wine that, has, that holds 34 glasses. Yeah, today. I mean, we can go get more wine. I think we have to in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> that's fair. They don't make boxes of wine that big in the UK, but I think that's because they don't trust us. 
I don't know. Because obviously, I, if they I, give you 35 <laughs> glasses worth, you're going to drink 34 glasses worth, and then you're going to start. Well, I mean, this is America, the land of the obesity. Land of the free. Obesity and, and, <laughs> and Dunkin' Donuts. Home of the Whopper, baby. Home of the Whopper. Yeah, supersize everything. Woo! <laughs> Yowie! <laughs> supersize doesn't exist in the UK anymore. Like if you go no. to McDonald's, what? you can't ask for supersize. Blasphemy. Can you still yeah, get you it here? You don't have it here either. No, they don't have it anymore here. Yeah. And there was that was in the nineties. Those are only ninety kids remember that. Super Size Me killed that. Oh that. my god, that TV show stressed me out. How did he? And that he threw up as well because he ate so much shit. Yeah. Stop. I thought yeah. he was gonna die. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, he did, and then it changed all. Like, then we were all like, "Oh no, I can never eat fast food again we for a need month." Fruit bags. Wait, did that guy die? No, no. he didn't die. He just threw up. Now he's doing like shitty unhealthy. CNN shows. Oh fuck! Like, I thought Leah said he died. I'm like, no, don't, no. please. No. Man no, versus no. food is spot on though. I really oh, no, enjoyed that, that show. Because that guy actually. I want to eat. I'm surprised that guy's not a human vegetable at this point, eat. honestly. Uh, you know, actually, he lost a lot of weight. The, gloves on. the one that I think the only one that we all care about, who's our dear saint, is uh, Mr. Flavortown, Mr. Guy Fieri. That guy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Mr. Flavortown. Those, those are you fucking kidding me. <laughs> yeah, man. You just look at him and you're just like, you're ready for like. Girls are like, yeah, <laughs> we're going to Flavortown. <laughs> 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 Man, he just always looks like like he's been eating a lot. Like he always is just like sweaty and, and moist. It looks moist. like cocaine's a good part of his diet. Oh That's all god. I'm saying. And that yeah, word, that uh, word makes me smash feel the same way he's dripping. It's kinda like Ugh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he does drip everywhere. <laughs> Lady parts just crawl back inside. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> no so moist. God, from from a fucking airsoft to to fucking fat yeah, people. Dear God. <laughs> Lord help us. Lord help us. What's can up with can we can we get this this thing fucking back in track? Like, where do we go from back here now? Where do we go from here? I, I don't fucking more know. More questions. Let's. Let's... Oh, oh, more questions. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Let's. Talk, I want to go in depth about with Miss Airsoft. And like, you, no. You kinda, like, touch <laughs> oh on... God. <laughs> yes, because I want you to rage. No, I will get so fucking angers. pissed. <sighs> no. I think no. I'm really chill about. Are you fine? I know. Yeah. All right. You know oh. what? I feel super cool because Snoopy's way more spun up about nudity and your than I am. And this is a great thing about it. You chill. just like no. Yeah, you I, could just like trigger him like crazy. You could trigger him with everything. Like I, I was oh triggered God. by the the fucking uh, uh fucking Leah. You 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 know the 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 Elite Force thing I posted a few days oh, ago. Yeah. With the thank you for uh -huh. for your support thing that triggered me early on. They were doing um, anything that anything with a hashtag Elite Force, and they did fuck you, fuck you, Leah. They did this just blatantly. I saw it with like a WeTech G17, and this guy tagged it, uh, hashtagged it Elite Force, and you had Elite Force Airsoft just go ahead and be like, oh, thanks for your support. Why, why the fuck? What do you have to do with this? That's funny. Put a butt plug on. What All they need is like a butt plug and just go hashtag Elite Force. Thank you for your support. But can I can I tell you how many times? Throughout like a week, they just decided randomly to fucking DM me saying thank you for your support. Fuck those guys. They do. Dude. They DM you thank you for your support. Just for no reason. That's funny. They're trolling you back. <laughs> I know it's yeah, so man. fucked up. Though. That's awesome. Yeah, they're, they're taking you to Flavor Town. <laughs> no, they're fucking assholes. Oh, I, mean, I love that you're getting equally trolled by Elite I ha Force. That's great. I have to. I have to. Okay. I I have to take the joke. As well as they took the joke because yeah, now everybody's. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad because when people can't take it, it's hilarious. No, it's it's great. They they posted that thing yesterday just in that uh, that I think it was like that same banner was like stay calm or what was it? I don't know. Fucking Tony, did you do you remember what they fucking posted yesterday or am I just streaming? They just posted a big fucking banner saying thank you for your support. Just play it just right there. I'm like no. Why are you doing this? At least they're polite though. I bet they're just seriously trolling you. They, they are. I, I, I feel like it's just, I'm such a selfish person. I think it's just all to fucking get me. No, I, it probably is. <laughs> <laughs> Dicks. Jesus Christ. Tony, you wanted to go into like Miss Airsoft and her? Nah, not anymore. I think we want to, I think we should kind of like elevate this conversation and talk about YouTube and stuff. Okay, so yeah, like, we can do YouTube. We can talk about YouTube. We can talk about, you know, 
what it is to like for someone that started YouTube and like that's trying to like because you're you're very popular within YouTube and I think that uh, a lot of people think that you're real that one of the things that's very captivating is like the way you're telling stories and telling kind of like a st rather than just being like check out these sweet kills check out how I, I no scope oh my god look at this cheater video <laughs> when he <kills> In <laughs> you know yeah In airsoft kinda, gets physical <laughs> airs yeah. everything's in god you know cheaters and stuff like that but like you kind of focus on story stuff so like what would you tell someone that's like trying to get into like airsoft um that youtube youtube for the like sorry youtube channel for airsoft what would you tell them the the thing that i think is most important is for you to really enjoy whatever you're recording and for you to enjoy yourself while you're editing as well and, and for that to make you happy because if it doesn't then you're going to have a miserable time at YouTube and because of the fact that YouTube takes a lot of lot of work and it may never pay off honestly you have to come to terms with that fact and you have to be willing to just be working all the time for no like little to no return essentially so you really need to make sure that you're enjoying what you're doing um, the reason that I say that is because a lot of people try to copy or emulate a certain style that they see and they think that that's the, the, the recipe for success. And I don't think personally, I don't think that that's necessarily true. I think that some people find something that they're really good at and that they really enjoy. And so therefore they're able to invest a lot of time and money into it and they're able to be successful because they're doing something that they enjoy and, and they're able to be very good at it. So that's my biggest, that's my biggest tip. Um, and try to do something that's new or different if you can because we don't need 20,000 videos about cheaters or 20,000 sniper channels. That gets really boring. Hmm. That, Interesting, Tony. What was that question we've asked almost everybody um, that's that's gone with us? Was yeah, it, the one about the audience. It, what 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 would be the new thing? Like you know, sni oh, yeah, sniping is yeah. sniping has been that niche everybody's here, gone here. to. I, I got the question. I got go the, for it. I got, I Absolutely. Not so like, niche. it's not a niche. I mean, niche, here's the thing niche. that we yeah. talked about. Niche. Like how so one of the things was that like I would say that YouTube airsofting started like popping really like big in 2015 like late 2014 right and that was like kind of when you know channels like level cap and and some other ones that just like started like getting on the whole thing with like showing off assault rifles showing off the whole guns and stuff like that and then in 2015 and 26 2015 was like speed softs and 2016 was snipers what do you see like 2017 like going forward or what would you like to see as well i i think in the future a lot I already see this happening is a lot of role play style gaming. I think it's yes. going to get really popular because mm. the now whenever we go to fields, it seems like everybody knows how to play TTT trouble in terrorist town, which right. that's totally new. And, and everybody <clears throat> seems to really enjoy anything that's live action role play kind of related, I think. And, and audiences have been enjoying watching that. Mm -hmm. So I think as far as airsoft YouTube goes, something like that could be a really big hit. Um, I think another thing that would be really cool to see is we've seen a lot of specialty channels like with with sniping getting so popular. It'd be cool to see somebody who was like a dedicated machine gunner or something. Because you know Absolutely. you'd always get to see lots of kills in that. Or at least lots of something. <laughs> Shooting at the ground. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what I was saying last last podcast is uh, you know that that uh, that gunner role, you know having having that perspective would be very interesting, and uh, I also love the idea of uh, role playing, especially um, with uh, what Balahack does. It's a uh, Revelation Seven. Yeah. And that would, be, if they if more fields did something like that, and uh, we'd see a lot more of that stuff kind of stuff on YouTube. It'd be very very interesting. I. I would love to watch something like that, especially with uh, Leah. Leah, you have uh, you have your your series uh, with uh, Milson West. Yeah. 
Yeah, where it was insurgency. Yeah, that was it was. I I couldn't stop watching it. It was it was just funny, entertaining. There was action. It was it was a perfect <laughs> ratio of everything. It was fantastic. Thank you. It's it's my it's been my absolute favorite series to edit and to upload. I don't feel that's that's been the series that I never feel like I'm working when I'm doing it because just watching everyone and seeing how immersed everyone was in their Bugging character missions. was it was so it was so enjoyable to edit and then it's still enjoyable to watch. Like I watch those videos t- like at least 10 times while I'm editing. And then I can still go back and watch the playlist and be like, this game was amazing. That's fantastic. <laughs> I, I really did enjoy uh, Is that series still going on? I haven't... Uh, I haven't I, it, it, it's, she just posted it. Yeah, I just posted the final episode okay, of that okay, okay. series. That's why. So, That's yeah, why we, we, had to, we had to wait for you to get ready. Yeah, yeah. I had to finish that and upload it. Good God. But uh, looking forward to seeing that after we uh, we finish this and kick you guys out of here at some point in time. It's all battle. Almost all of it is almost all battle. What? There's no like role play or anything. I, there, I, no, I, there's I role need... play, but it's like battle and battle strategy. But I mean, you still see you still see like Fetty Slav and Anatoly and the King's <laughs> Chief. So don't worry. There's still there's still saucy bits of goodness in there. Healthy. That's fantastic. <laughs> All right. Um, I have a question for Kelly. Okay. That question would almost be the same as uh, as Leah's. I mean, I know Kelly has her own uh, YouTube channel as well, but I don't believe it's as successful as her blog and her writing. So I want to know how would somebody start and progress their airsoft blogs in your it, how how would you feel? Um, God, I lost my my mind again. Um, what's the word? <laughs> Help me find words, Tony. I'm losing my shit. Use words. Yeah, I know. I know a good question. Uh, Kelly, what do you think about like how how would you what would you tell someone that's like you know doing fairly well on YouTube? They're growing. And I would say you say YouTube, but I mean like their blogs like in general, like their blogs and stuff. like that. I need that. a fucking like, what beer. Would you God damn it. Yeah, you do. Go get your beer. <laughs> like, how how were you able to transition from like you know regular nine to five job to doing this full time? So in um, May two thousand and fifteen, I um I base I was an admin for a UK for the UKC, which is like our largest forum in the UK for airsofters, and something kicked off. Um, it was basically about a post how it was there was a magazine and they wanted to do a post on women airsofters. Uh-huh. And the the line was let's feature sexy women airsofters. And no. Much triggered as shit. <laughs> Went off on this okay. dude. And then because I was an admin, I, was, I took his post down. And I was like, you, you you can't post this sort of thing. I I understand you're not trying to be offensive. I think it was the wrong yeah. wording. And then he was he was actually a contributor for a magazine. And I was like, oh how how would I get into that? Because I think that'd be something I'd really like to do. And he was like, I'll put you in touch with our editor. And I did a piece for them. And I became one of their contributors. I'm now one of their social media managers as well. So I run Femme Fatale Airsoft and then I write for um, the UK's number one airsoft magazine, which is cool as well. And I think... Airsoft Action. That's the name of the magazine. Um, Plug. Plug. (laughs) (laughs) I didn't want to say it because of the drama. Oh, It's all right. It's fine. Sorry. It's okay. Airsoft Action. Read it. It is really good. It's very... um, there's a couple of magazines out there and they're more focused on the look, but ours is mainly if it's like it's the content. So if it's in Airsoft, it's in there. And it's a whole variety of topics. So it's from game sites I do for them. The reason why I don't do a lot of site reviews on my blog is because most of my site reviews go on in the magazine. So yep. I do a lot of stuff like that. And then we've got all the Milsim, which I'm normally the go-to Milsim person, which is odd because I'm so not Milsim. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'd say if you just start a blog, um, be authentic about it. Don't copy someone else's stuff because people get so riled up about it. <laughs> Have your own signature style and just enjoy what you do. If there's no enjoyment behind it, it's, it comes off as fake and then people don't enjoy reading it. You need to be really honest. I posted a blog post the day about how I like quit my job and decided that this is what I wanted to do full time and it was one mm-hmm. of probably the most emotional pieces I've ever wrote. Mm-hmm. And everyone was like, "Oh my God, it's so nice to see this." And I'm like, "Yeah, exactly. We, mm-hmm. we all need to be more, 
real about what we do. I agree. That's my thing. Yeah. That's and why I try to be as real as possible on my channel because there's too many people that are freaking like Mickey Mouse about it. Oh my it. god. Yeah. Like, they're either Mickey Mouse how, about it or how just so? How so? Fake. Like, what do you, like elaborate with that. Fake ass. Um. But this is this kind of goes along with my life motto. So this is me like getting super hippie on all of you guys. Oh god, let's smoke a joint. Far out, bro. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I think, I think we could all. I think the world and. And if we get more specific about it, Airsoft would be a better place if people were more honest about who they were as a person and as a player. Yeah. And because that would also allow us to cater to, to each other in, in a more specialized way. Because uh, people are people are so... I don't know. They Everyone thinks that they need to fit a certain stereotype. And everyone yep. tries to fit a certain mm. stereotype. And so I feel I like if people are honest about who they are and what they enjoy then we can enjoy airsoft a lot more and we can get a lot more enjoyment out of airsoft and out of life in, in general. general. Hmm. Interesting. It's pretty that's a very, that's yeah. you can take that and run with it in life with life too, you know. You have to be a you know a good be a good person, just be honest. I really paused on that for a second just to just to get a really good idea. I, was, I just looked at myself real quick and I was like, a am I doing what I'm doing to be real? Or or not? I was just, ugh. That was weird. F fuck you, Leah. God damn, make me think <laughs> things. Kind of, but Leah, that kind of comes from like, that like, you start that off. I would say like, a lot of people that have been doing it for a while, they, the reason why they got into YouTube and stuff like, and like, Airsoft is because like, they wanted to do something like, they wanted to do exactly what you're saying. Like, that was like the reason why they got in but then afterwards you would almost see that some players would like evolve out of it and try to like fit a certain mold whether it's like you know super meal sim yeah. or like these speed afters or speed <laughs> afters yeah a lot of people try to fit a mold and it's just like there there's there shouldn't be a mold i don't i don't really think and do you would you think and do you think that that is something that is rewarded when you, if you do it on youtube or on, in general, I know in life in general, you know, it's a good thing. But I mean, like, you know how it is in YouTube, where it's like, you know, people are rewarded by the number of emojis that they have on their, you know, yeah, on their, uh, what, on yeah, their, what do you a, call it? <clears throat> it's a fine line that you have to walk because you can't always be like, I mean, does everybody want to have a, a clickbait thumbnail title? No, but no. you have to do it in order to get views. Uh, like to just to be honest like if you want to make a living you have there's certain things that you have to do sometimes or you feel like you have to do so you have to try and balance it out with <clears throat> being as like to me it's like i have to balance that out with like being as real and as true to myself as i can be and being completely honest about that like for instance i don't have i honestly don't have really have a lot of sponsors i have companies that will work with me but I don't have a lot of official sponsors because I don't want to be tied to any one certain company and I don't want anyone telling me what I can and can't do. I want to be the one that dictates that. And if they're not okay with that, then I'm like, okay, that's fine. I'll work with you, but I'm not going to be tied to you in any way. Bye. Absolutely. I agree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I agree 100%. Uh, that, it's kind of the, pretty much the same thing. Uh, I've been trying to do for the past uh, few months is I don't want to be sponsored by anybody. At a certain point in time, I maybe was under five different sponsorships, a team, all that fancy bullshit. And I realized I, I don't like any of these companies. I don't like who I represent. Um, yeah. One of those being Valken, and I'm just going to fucking name drop. Atrian was just a piece of fucking shit. Damn, bro. I don't, I don't wow. give a uh, uh, <laughs> Leah, Leah knows as well as I do. He's, they're all fucking yeah. assholes. But um, I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't stand to be near them. Yeah. And a lot of those guys I just didn't really respect. So I, I parted ways and now I just do my own thing. And I, I feel like I'm much better off than where I used to be with you yeah. know, having all these people I have to represent and just yeah. basically suck their dick. <laughs> yeah, for what? For like a $20 bottle of BBs? No thanks. No, bro. I, I love my ten dollar discount, discount, man. Shit. On items. Yeah, yeah. Just whatever it is, like it has to be worth 
what whatever you're sacrificing is it worth what you're getting to me that's kind of that's my line like whatever i'm i'm suppressing of myself is it worth the return that i might be getting probably yeah. Not. Yeah, it's almost like you're pigeonholing yourself to do a certain specific thing yeah yeah i don't want to be held back man I want to be myself. Don't hold me back. <laughs> oh God. Be free. <laughs> we we really could just do another entire podcast based on on sponsorships, but uh, it's uh, it's already been like what fucking oh. fifty five minutes. Uh, yeah. I, I poured like a little over though. We're so good. Yeah, yeah we're, we're on our second glass of wine now. Really? I just finished an entire bottle, sparkling water bottle, whatever the fuck. Oh, it's Perrier. Okay, I'm drinking fancy shit now. God. Oh my God, you're European. Oh. Well, yeah, I'm. I'm fuck, I was born in Italy. Fuck you. Okay, of course I'm drinking <laughs> shit. It's good. I like. I like sparkling water. I feel you, man. No, f- fuck you. I, w- I want my beer. I want my beer. <laughs> I'm all out. I. There we go. Oh fuck me! I have some tequila. Uh-huh. We still have to oh. like. We still have to. Uh, we have to get ready for airsoft tomorrow. Oh, and I'm kidding. We'll have to cook dinner. We're eating steak tonight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, oh God. So, and so what you're saying is there is is there any white girl wasted going on here? You know, I keep saying it over and over again, but it is Friday after all. There's nothing like that going on. Shit. We're gonna get we're gonna get reasonably white girl wasted. We do have to play airsoft tomorrow. We still have to get all of our kit ready. So. Dumb. And I've got to dye my hair. And I don't want ratchet hair. Yeah. <laughs> Kelly can't be too ratchet busy. hair. No. Oh. My I didn't dye my hair before I came um, to the U.S. So my hair is a very odd strawberry blonde color at the minute. It's not no, of, really. of course it's the like pink. It's not pink. No, That's not pink. It's not. <laughs> not that I just that, that bit isn't pink. That doesn't count. We should just cut off. Yeah, we'll just hide just it. Just hide it. It's fine. Put in a plat. You you're gonna have, a, you're gonna have a bucket work. hat on it, so you'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Got my image to pull, man. <laughs> I can't. Ha- I can't oh, have so showing my roots. I, <laughs> I know I the hate- roots are like. They're like down here now. The roots of the roots are living oh. the dream. <laughs> God, I hate you all so much. <laughs> God Thank damn you. it! That's why I'm proud of, proud of you, man. <laughs> oh gosh. All right, I'm I'm closing this. Fo- I'm I'm meeting adjourned, guys. Okay, we're we're done here. All right. Wow. So yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I I I have things to do. I want to go out drinking too, Tony. Fuck. All right. Oh well. Okay. All right. Yeah, because I'm just. I'm just, I was, like, I was totally going to go out and, like, stuff, but... Oh, no, know. Tony, I, I know you, you're a fucking party animal with your, your, your fucked up back, man, shit. I just got invited, like, I got comp for, t- to get into, like, this one nightclub, and I'm like, yay! And then it's like, my back's like, ha-ha, no. fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I- I'm cutting it short, guys. Um, ladies and gentlemen, you have been listening Wait, to... glass words? Oh, glass fuck, glass words? words? God damn it! Okay, God. what? Dang it. You're Sorry, too I'm very drunk dang. already. I know. He's just... <laughs> yeah, I know he won. Yeah. Come on. I Last just... word. So, uh, <laughs> my goodness. My, what are we going to do with you, Snoopy? Just, so, just, Kelly, just, what are the last words? Any last words for the, uh, for the podcast? Yeah. You have um, the mic. Enjoy your life. Live it. Don't take shit. Done. Holla, holla. God fucking damn it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like that. That's a good one. Yeah. Do what makes you happy. You don't give a fuck about what other people think. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. And on that note, I think we'll close the podcast now. All right, all right, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, you have been listening to the 6mm Podcast. Again, I have been your host, Tactical Snoopy, with me, Revention. And we will be saying goodbye to the Tactical Unicorn, a.k.a. Leah, and Femme Fatale Airsoft, a.k.a. Kelly. Bye, everyone. Bye. All right. Later, y'all. Fuck you, Tony. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>